I want to say something. Go ahead. Um, earlier, you guys were talking about traditional relationships. What? I was, I was raised in a Hispanic traditional Catholic family household. Um, the idea that dancing ballroom or dancing in general is non-traditional to me is insane because like all of South America, Central America, Spain, you know, they dance salsa, they dance merengue. That is part like part of the culture, and a lot of people there are very traditional, very Hispanic, Catholic. Well, so the, to the, me, hold on, there hold is on. a discrepancy the, there. The issue is not with the actual dancing. The issue is with dancing with someone who's not your partner. That's do they white? That's white. What they do. That's white. Is that what culture. they do? Yeah, they yeah, do. They, the it's literally white. just part of the culture. You is like, it? Yeah. Not part of my culture. Is that part of my culture? I was literally born and raised in that culture. culture. When it comes to the reaction to that video that I brought up, it was because of the context around it. If no, we were just two random no, 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 wait, wait. people, the, I don't think that they should would we watch the video? Wait, wait, hold on. No, no. Should to be watch, clear, the reaction. No, no. You can watch it if you want. But the so reaction is. Know what we're talking if you're okay, about. With, if you're okay. If you want, no, no. I don't care. If you want, all you want, I'll jerk off to it for you if you want after the show. Okay. Can we record it? I have an OnlyFans. Just do it under the table. Yeah, as long as you pay me for it. Okay. Fifty-fifty. Hold on. The issue is not the reaction to the video, even the context around it. The issue is that right now. Everybody in like the red pill like culture that's like taken over like online shit is like obsessed with like cuck and everything related to it. So much that I think it's actually a hidden fantasy for a lot of the people to talk about it. Where like if a guy is talking to somebody else or a girl is talking to somebody else, they're like cuck, 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 cuck. Like people talk about it incessantly. It's like fucking insane. More so than it would have been like even five or ten years ago. You think ago. it's like projection? It, I, it's some kind of weird obsession with like being cucked or cuck. Like to the point where on some of these shows, I don't think I've heard it here, but people will say things like if your girlfriend has like a high body count, you start dating her, you got cucked. Or like if your girlfriend <laughs> is like talking to another guy in a way that's getting cucked. It reminds me of like the old 4chan copy pasta where it's like the ultimate ultimate cuck is a father that raises a daughter because he's preparing his daughter's pussy to get plowed by some other guy. Whoa, and that's like the that ultimate cuck. Oh, like, I'm just man. saying that like the obsession with like the cuck shit is like insane. I don't think it has anything to do with me or the dancing because like she said, in a lot of traditional cultures, a lot of people dance. And if you do like ballroom dancing or competition, you're not only competing with a boyfriend, right? You're like dancing with like partners and other people that have been practicing with you and everything. So I, I just think the obsession has to do with like the current culture around like the whole cuck and like dating shit. I there's an obsession. I think that cuckoldry and other f weird fetishes are being pushed in both pornography and pop culture and people are just responding yeah. to that Absolutely they don't not. like it. I cuckoldry think that as an the, actual fetish is really rare. I think that people recognize degeneracy and they naturally this say something there towards you go. it. So it's the it's like this weird like degenerate angle and then like the red pill stuff and kind of the tradcon stuff and the well, fighting there are against some like people the perceived that wokeism there's stuff. A, there's a right way to express sexuality and a wrong way and I guess you're saying there's not a right or wrong. I never said that at all. There's plenty like well, you put degeneracy and weird in air quotes. Well, because Is there she anything said that you would consider sexually degenerate? Uh, yeah, but he said we weren't allowed to talk about some of that. <laughs> so th th those, those fair, subjects, would you say enough. those are the only things that Stay qualify tuned for as degenerate? Are you in, allowed in, to partake in it? In, in broad speaking terms, as long as people are exercising or practicing some sexual thing that's between them and it's not hurting anybody else, in general, I think it's probably okay for people to do that. If you want to have like a pure monogamous relationship, if you want to be abstinent until you get married or whatever, and that's how you want to explain it, I think that's totally fine. But it seems like people from some backgrounds find that they can be incredibly judgmental of other people's like sexual exploration, which is really weird to me because they'll get like really fixated on it. Well, like I've never had a conversation before where I'm like, what's it like to like only have your husband or boyfriend's dick like going in and out of your pussy? Like these like really explicit conversations. But then people come to what? me and it's like, what do you think about like your wife like fucking other guys and shit? And it's like, it's really weird that I'll get like really, or like even earlier, he's like, so you're bisexual. I think you asked me, right? Do you fuck guys in the ass? Or do you take dick in your ass? And I'm like, Jesus, I did that's not a really say that. thing. You asked if I was a top or a bottom, right? That's essentially what yes. you're asking, right? Which is fine. I don't care. Like, these questions are fun and I'm used to dealing with it. But it's interesting to me that based on my lifestyle, I'll get like these really explicit questions. And I feel like if you're in a more traditional relationship, if somebody asked you that, you'd be like, whoa, that's like way over the line. Which I think is just an interesting yeah, observation. There's probably questions that How we could ask the monogamous people, right? Yeah, yeah you're very really offended by that, I guess. What? By me asking. Tr there's um, nothing you can say that will offend me, look, I promise. I think you. people <laughs> in, yeah. ask questions about your relationship because. I would say the vast majority, they don't think that it's normal or conducive to a flourishing long-term relationship. And that's fine. Especially a marriage. They sure. think it's fundamentally humiliating to mm -hmm. a man to not have sexual exclusivity with his wife. And that's totally fine. But the way that the questions are phrased was earlier was, I'm just curious. But it's not a curiosity. I didn't say that. But sure, that's I fine. Said that. It's not an actual curiosity. There's I'm critical. A, that's fine. Yeah, there's a normative loading of like, you're doing something that I don't approve of, and now I'm going to question you on it, which is fine. But like, if we want to get into that, then we can get into that. Well, um, I mean, rather than like the like, oh, well, I'm just curious. Like, does it bother you that somebody else might like come on your way? And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, I don't know. Let's let's back up a second. Yeah, you're, sure. you're, you're kind of projecting that 
the disapproval does exist, but mm-hmm. the well, I'm not projecting because these two at least have explicitly said it, right? Yeah, so it does exist. I just, it's, it's, not, it's not. I just said it's it was not a necessarily. Boundary line. It's not, out your, it's not necessarily yeah. that the questions are rooted in disapproval. It's mm-hmm. more just that, like, like your guys' relationship mm-hmm. dynamic is, is it's a taboo in society, so people are curious and they have questions, sure. right? Well, you are. Cu- I think you're curious. Well, I don't. I'm treating you as good faith. You're mm-hmm. curious, but like these two at the very least. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with being disapproving. But these two questions are coming from like a. Don't you realize that this is really bad? Is like that. That's like the angle of the question, basically. It's which not is fine, like understanding way. or curiosity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like mm-hmm. ju- I'm just gonna bully you kind yeah. of for what you're doing in which your life. Do you, do you guys do you guys feel bullied by them? I don't feel bullied. I love do it. Melina do does a little bullied? bit. No, it's just like negativity, not understanding. Do you guys want to react to the video in question? It's just being yeah. like. Yeah, you want to watch it? We can watch it. Yeah, 